welcome back to my channel we have a lovely math question to solve this is really not easy but we can do it together okay we are asked to find x divided by y if this is equal to this so first of all we have that 1 over x plus 1 over y is equal to 1 over x plus y okay now we are going to solve the left hand side the LCM of X and Y is XY. Now when X divides XY, we have Y. Y times 1 is Y. Plus, when 1 divides, when Y divides XY, we have X. X times 1 is X. Okay, is equal to 1 over X plus Y. Alright, now let us cross multiply. Okay, so if we cross multiply, we have y plus x multiplied by x plus y is equal to xy times 1. Then we are going to notice that y plus x is the same thing as x plus y. That is the commutative property of addition okay so that means we can call this x plus y squared is equal to xy all right remember that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so we can express this as x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, okay, is equal to xy. Now, we are going to transfer this to the other side. If we do so, we have x squared plus 2xy. Now, let's bring in this. Minus xy plus y squared is equal to 0. So, we have x squared then this will give us plus xy plus y squared is equal to 0. The next one, let's divide through by x over y. Okay? So, dividing both sides by xy. So if we do that now, we are going to have Okay, so this is what we have x squared plus xy plus y squared divided by xy will be equal to 0 divided by xy Okay so the next thing will be to distribute the denominator. So we have x squared divided by xy plus xy divided by xy plus y squared divided by xy is equal to zero. Now, when this divides, this one will remain, right? So we have x over y plus this we reduce to 1, so plus 1, plus then this we remove one of this, right? So we have y over x is equal to 0. Now, I want you to please, if this is the first time you are seeing this channel, the first time you are seeing this face, please click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell so that whenever we post our videos, you will be notified. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Please, thank you so much. Encourage us in the comments. Tell us what you think we should do to do better. And thank you. Now, let us continue. At this point, we have x over y and we have y over x. We can simplify that equation, right? So you can see, let x over y be equal to k. So that implies that y over x is equal to 1 over k. 
all right it's time to substitute so this will be k plus one plus one over k is equal to zero all right so in order to have a linear equation let us multiply through by k multiplying both sides by k so if we do that we will have if we do that we will have permit me to clean more so that we have better view of what i'm about to do okay so multiplying both sides by k we are going to have this equation k into k plus 1 plus 1 over k is equal to k multiplied by 0. So we have k times k is k squared. k times 1 is plus k. k times 1 over k will give us 1. Okay? Is equal to 0. Now, we can clean everything. I know it's time. I'm going to get something bigger or arrange this in a different way so that we have a bigger portion of the board showing. Okay. All right. So we look if you look at this, notice that this is in this form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. So at this point, we have a quadratic equation. So we can actually find the value of K using quadratic equation formula okay all right so if we do that we will have from here you can see that our a is one our b is one as well coefficient of k and our c is one as well now we have a quadratic equation formula that states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a just that in this case our variable is k all right so k is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c divided by 2 multiplied by a as well so we have k is equal to minus one plus or minus the square root of minus one squared is one minus four times one times one is four divided by two so k is equal to minus one plus or minus square root of minus three divided by okay now sorry i forgot to leave the space where we said that k remember we said let k be equal to we got something right be equal to x over y yes we said let k be equal to x over y so that means that we can write from here All right, so from here, we can now replace this k with x over y. So we have that x over y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So x over y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus this is same thing as square root of 3 multiplied by square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So we have x over y is minus 1 plus or minus root 3. Now square root of minus 1 is i divided by 2. So that simply means that we are asked to find x over y. That means x divided by y is equal to minus 1 plus root 3i divided by 2 
and x over y is also equal to minus 1 minus root 3i divided by 2. Thank you for watching. Bye.